Hello, so uh, this is the MQ MCQ session that I've created for a, a, a theory power lesson that I've, I've done in, in a previous lesson. Go back and watch it if you haven't already. Uh, that was called the wonders of living our world and this is the MCQ questions. If you understood the lesson well, you should be able to answer these questions, right? So, okay. Um, okay let me uh, get the first question for you. Okay. There you go. A characteristic that is not common to all the living organisms. You have four options. Respiration, photosynthesis, growth and reproduction. What do you think is the answer for this? It should be really easy if you are listening to the lesson. So, uh, let me get the pen so that uh, this would be more clear for you. Alright, okay. Mm. We need to find a characteristic that is not common to all the living organisms, right? Respiration, that is uh, breathing basically. So all the living organisms, they do this, otherwise they die. So that's a, that's a vital characteristic for you to say something is living. And uh, let's leave B for a while, actually, either. Uh, photosynthesis is uh, the production of organic food inside plants using sunlight, water, carbon dioxide. Right? So, this can only be done um, in green plants, right? So, not all the organisms can't, can't produce their own food. For example, we, humans or lions, deers, dogs, they can't produce their own food. They have to depend on other sources. So, this is not a characteristic that is common to all the uh, organisms. Okay, right. Uh, and growth, all the living organisms with time, they grow, meaning increase their size, amount and all. Reproduction in order to uh, survive and um, in order to survive, they, they, they pre-produce, meaning they uh, produce their offsprings right okay so there you go that's uh, the first question for you we'll go to the next question and uh, it says chemicals that can be used to identify carbon dioxide in laboratory is what is it how do you identify carbon dioxide uh, this should be easy if you are if you are familiar with science. You have four options: copper sulfate, calcium hydroxide, water, and coconut oil. How, what do you do? Uh, if you suspect that something is carbon dioxide, what you do is you you bubble this gas into a calcium hydroxide or lime water. What happens is you will see a, 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 a white cloud precipitation. If that happens. In lime water, you can confirm that 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 the, the gas you bubbled was carbon dioxide. So there you go. This is your answer for that question. We will clear uh, them all and move to the next question, which is number three. The process that creates energy in organism is right. You have four options: growth, nutrition, respiration and uh, reproduction what produces the energy uh, in living organisms growth no it's not nutrition meaning uh, ta in taking of food what happens is when they digest the energy is produced but that is not the answer we are looking for it's respiration why as a by as a product of respiration energy is you uh, produce right reproduction means uh, producing the uh, offsprings when the the creatures are mature enough so that is not the answer as well right uh, when respirating the energy is produced uh, so that's your answer right okay the we'll move on to the next question which is number three uh, the most suitable equipment to observe microorganisms in water is 
you know what microorganisms are they cannot be they those are the uh, a class of organism that cannot be seen with your naked eye you have to use some technology such as microscope so in lab you can't use tele telescope that is not not the equipment and um, uh, binocular we use to observe uh, things at far so is telescope compound microscope uh, this can be this is the w magnifying glasses sometimes you can't see so compound microscope is the best uh, equipment that you can use in labs to observe uh, microorganisms next question number five right uh, the gas emitted during the process of photosynthesis is this is you have to pay attention here what is the gas emitted right yeah that's what we are looking for emitted what happens is during the photosynthesis the plants intake carbon dioxide so that's a reactant as a product though oxygen is released so uh, be careful there's carbon dioxide and oxygen as well so but carbon dioxide is not the um, uh, answer for this question because we are looking for the gas which is being emitted which is oxygen so there you go you have your answer option a right uh, we will move on to the question number six which is also on the same lesson should be easy as well an essential requirement for photosynthesis is again on photosynthesis right what is uh, an essential uh, requirement so we will go through each of the uh, options here a says oxygen uh, b carbon dioxide nitrogen and hydrogen what do you need to do for synthesis obviously carbon dioxide that's a reactant oxygen oxygen is in the photosynthesis um, reaction of photosynthesis but on the other side of the arrow on the product side so we don't need this to um, do photosynthesis carbon dioxide is a reactant so we need then nitrogen and hydrogen are not involved moving on to the next question uh, question number seven uh, it says characteristics which can be seen in animals but cannot be seen in most plants is should be easy when you go through the um, the options you have been given locomotion meaning um, movement reproduction growth and nutrition both animals and um, plants uh, all of them need nutrition they all of the even plants grow up to be big trees uh, reproduction you can see through seeds or sometimes various other other uh, other um, methods plants also reproduce locomotion is your answer because most animal uh, animals actually most animals uh, they they move but plants they do not move even though we categorize them under uh, living beings right so uh, option a was the answer for that question moving on to number seven choose the false statement a uh, first one says microorganisms can be seen cannot be seen with naked eye correct uh, increment in age is the growth no it's the amount and the size only plants can photosynthesize correct only plants plants are considered correct so option b is your answer right now moving on to the next question number eight uh, it says what is not needed for photosynthesis uh, what is not needed carbon dioxide is needed sunlight is needed water is needed oxygen is not needed in the photosynthesis even though plants need to breathe in the process of photosynthesis it is not needed moving on to the next question question number nine select the correct statement most of the animals are heterotrophic meaning depends on plants indirectly or okay, can't produce their own food energy uh, needed for photosynthesis is obtained by lightning no sunlight oxygen is absorbed during a photo photosynthesis no is released plants are not always considered to be always they are considered so that is wrong so a is your correct answer right you have to choose the correct answer moving on to the last question 10th question 
an example for microorganisms.